Hey everybody, welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Today I want to show you guys how to use the character map to find some of those special fonts, uh, characters that are involved in those fun fonts that we all love to use. So the first thing is my computer doesn't have your traditional start screen. So what I always have to do is I have to search for things because I have no idea what I'm doing most of the time. So all I do to find my character map was I went into my C, which is your entire computer, or your, your, this PC, and then you go into C, which is your entire computer. I'm just going to type in character and see what comes up. What that's going to do is it'll search for anything with that name. So it might take a minute to find, but it should find your character map. Some of you who are running a slightly older version of Windows should be able to find it just in your start menu. So under that little Windows button, if you click it and you scroll for a little bit, you should find your character map. I found mine a while ago, and I just pinned it to my um, toolbar at the bottom, which is so much easier than having to search for it or try to make a shortcut on my desktop. But... Eventually this thing will find it. I'm not going to make you guys watch it sit there and find it. So once it finds it and you pin it, you open it and you pin it to your um, your toolbar. All you have to do is open it. And up here at the top, it gives you all your different kinds of fonts. So all you need to do is go in here and find a font that you want to use. And it'll show you all the different characters that it has. So let me go up and find find let's see I have a couple that I've downloaded so let me see if any of them have um, extra special characters not that one um you know which I know I love glitter has it so if you want to look for a specific font you can just type the first letter in and it will show you you know it'll start at the very top so what you can do is if you're looking for how to make a certain um, item. So I want to know how to make this exact heart. You can either hover over it with your mouse and it'll tell you, which it says make the asterisk, or if you look down here in this lower portion, it will show you also what you can do. Now if you click advanced view, it gives you a lot more options, but you really don't need those. So I Love Glitter has lots and lots of options. So swirl the left square bracket will give you the swirl. The right square bracket gives you this swirl. Your open heart is the, uh, it's actually an underscore. They call it a low line. Um, and then the filled in heart is a vertical line. This one would be a capital letter O. But that's all you have to do. You just have to open up your character map and you can actually see what your fonts will look like just by clicking on them. So a lot of people like um, Lovely Home is a nice one. And Lovely Home doesn't have any special characters. Um, but it does give you the nice preview. So if you are looking for a specific look for your letters, you can do it that way as well. Magnolia Sky is always a popular one. So you can open that and see what your fonts will look like. You can scroll through, honestly, and find just about everything. So my, one of the fonts that I, I like, to is the monogram, the monogramos from Defont. And this one's kind of nice because you get a couple different options. So um, let's show you. So there's like a capital letter L. But if you wanted to do the ones where there's no circle around it, it tells you exactly how to do these. So there's lots of options Especially when you get into the fancier fonts, you'll find that it gives you a lot more things that you can do with them. Um, I love this star Strella. This is also from Defont. This little star is so cute at the end of your words. And all you have to do is use a right square bracket to make that little star. Um, you guys, once you start playing with this, you'll start seeing that there's just going to be a lot of different things that you can find and do with these. And it's all going to depend on which fonts you use. And you can just scroll through your fonts and see if any of them do have the special characters. Some do, some don't. Um, Unicorn Calligraphy offers this rainbow, which is really fun. Um, it offers little um, wings, which are really cute too. And it does hearts and unicorns. So the Unicorn Calligraphy one has a lot of fun different things. It has swirls. And remember, you can combine fonts. So if you like the swirls off of this one, 
and um, not the I Love Glitter font, that's okay because you can combine them. Um, I'll show you really quick how to do something like that. So I'm just going to type in, um, I'll do it like we're doing a knockout. So I'll just use my name and then I'm going to use the vertical line to get the, um, whoops, if I didn't hit buttons today, we'd be doing great. The vertical line to get the filled in heart and then I'm just going to put his name. It's going to give me this weird question mark because the Cricut Sands doesn't have a uh, um, a character for that. So all I'm going to do is go I Love Glitter and find my font. And what that will do is it brings up my I Love Glitter font. So I'm going to letter space them together. Everybody should know how to letter space, but if not, just up here at the top. I'm not going to do anything too crazy with this just so I can show you guys how you, would con how you could use different um, fonts together. So obviously on I Love Glitter it gives me that one, but remember I said I like the Unicorn Glitter one, or Unicorn Calligraphy, so we're going to search Unicorn. It's going to bring up Unicorn Calligraphy and see how it changed the type of swirl. So all you have to do is just move it up and you can have that swirl instead of the I Love Glitter one. A lot of it's just playing around with it, learning what you like, learning what you don't. I hope this was super helpful to you guys and that you got to learn how to use your character map.